Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly update video. And I got some awesome stuff to show you today. Um, not a, you know, ton, not a ton of quantity, but the the quality, at least in my opinion, is definitely there. I've got a lot of cool stuff to take a look at and uh, excited to show it and excited to get some of it opened. All right, so I had a good week. Um, in particular, I did stop at a Walmart and scored three of these 52 Chevy pickup supers. Um, I already have, so I've actually found six of these total. Um, found three of them in one night the other time and then found three more. So I've gotten really lucky with this super. I was really hoping to, to find the Lambo super. Of course, I was hoping the cases would be those, but they were J-Case and scored three Supers. I already opened up one of these in another episode, so of course we won't be um, opening up any of these in this episode just because these will probably end up being for trade. But uh, So I got three of those. Fantastic. Um, since I'm not going to open that Super, I decided I, I still have to open a Super in this episode. So shout out to the Hot Wheels Hunter, Martin. Uh, he just opened up his super treasure hunt of this uh, Summit Racing uh, 70 Chevy Chevelle, which I collect this casting. And I have all of them except for there's a multi-pack exclusive out there that's got gold rims. It's like the same as a regular release, but it's got gold rims. And I slept on that when it came out and don't have one. So if anybody's got one of those, let me know. Um, but this thing is sweet. It's one of the, it's, the, it's basically the first super treasure hunt that's ever been in my collection was this right here. I actually didn't find it in the wild. Um, a buddy of mine actually found it and then he gave it to me basically. So just when I had started collecting. So I'm really glad to have that. And thanks, uh, Justin. I know you probably don't watch my videos, but thank you, buddy. Um, <clears throat> so this is cool. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and open that in the second half of the video. That'll be our stand-in super treasure hunt since I'm not opening any of those Chevys. Uh, another Hot Wheel, though, that I got in the mail today is this beautiful piece right here. This, uh, the Gasanova, the 66 uh, Supernova Gasser. This is the RLC Selection Series. Um, if you're not familiar with it, and I can take it out of this right now, we are going to open it. Um, if you're not familiar with it, these are basically made to order. The Selection Series, people vote on castings and color and all that good stuff. I think even wheels too. And uh, then they uh, go ahead and make them to order. So as many as are ordered is how many they make. This was 11,500. So it's not really that limited as far as RLC pieces go, um, but tend to still have quite a bit of value just because it ends up being a really desirable casting and all of that stuff. So I had to wait a year, over a year to get these. These were ordered May of 2017. And it is now, you know, July of 2018. So that's how long it took. But finally got them. I ordered three of them, one for me, one for my buddy Angel, and one to either hang on to for trade or to sell. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. But, uh, yeah, really sweet to have that. We're going to take a nice close look at that in the second half of this video. Um, as far as one other Hot Wheels thing, I picked up this five-pack from Target. Which, just to note, these five packs do qualify for the mail-in requirement for the uh, the GMC van or the yeah, it is a GMC van, right? Um, so just so you know, you can got to purchase twenty dollars with the products. Uh, five packs are a good way to do it, especially if you collect your cars loose, because you only have to send in the UPCs for what you bought up to twenty dollars, and instead of sending in like a package with a bunch of card backs in it which is going to cost you about seven bucks or whatever to ship it um you can just cut out upcs and actually put these right in an envelope so only cost you the cost of a stamp basically to mail in instead of spending that seven dollar anyway so if you buy five packs that's the way to do the mail-in right there so pretty cool this is the exotics five packs we're going to go ahead and open up that take a quick look at those and then speaking of exotic vehicles well i did get some mail this week from from our good buddy travis heavy metal 164 um this is the contents of the package real quick he sent me one of these uh these were on 
blowout pricing. So I think he got these for like a dollar, two dollars or something like that. It's a home. It's made of paper. He's really trying to get me to do a diorama. And believe me, I want to. I really do. I just don't have the time right now to do it. This room that's in here, why I haven't done a room tour at all recently or anything like that is because it's a complete mess. And there's just so much that needs to be cleaned up. There's a lot that needs to be done in here. Um, so first of all, I got to get rid of a lot of carded stuff and replace it with Plano cases. And anyway, there's nothing to show off right now. So, <clears throat> but eventually I would like to do a diorama and I'd like to fit it somewhere in this room. Um, because according to my wife, I am limited to this space only for my hobby. I'm lucky to get a room anyway. But, uh, yeah, so, but I'll put this together when that happens. I will definitely make use of it at some point in time. Um, but, yeah, so that's that little home. Really cool. We just did a little trade. He sent me one extra, so I'll do that first. An M2. You guys know I love M2. So, but I will be opening this, and we'll take a look at it in the second half of the video. This is the, uh, the Skyline GTR uh, in red from the most recent Auto Japan series from M2. And then he sent me two Kyoshos and a Tomica Limited Vintage Neo, which this is awesome. It's Datsun 200SX. Um, we will definitely take a close look at that in the second segment of the video. This is the only. This is only the second TLV piece I have in my collection, and um, the one I, are, I do have is a Skyline, and it's fantastic. And actually, now yeah, will I pull it out? Now, I'm not going to pull it off for the second half. But anyway, this thing we're going to take out of this packaging and take a look at it close up. It's a beautiful car. I've already pulled it out and looked at it. It's it's amazing. And then two Kyosho Lamborghinis. Boom, this one right here. Pretty sweet in white. We'll pop that off of the base and roll it by the camera. And then this thing. Come on, who doesn't like that? A Lamborghini Diablo in yellow. That is beautiful. I used to have like a 118 scale car of this. I think it was 118 scale, 118 or 124. I think it was a Barago. I sold that because I don't collect those size of cars, but it's nice to get it back in 164 scale and looking fantastic. So really sweet, Travis. Thank you for that. And then I got a box from eBay um, from my favorite eBayer. He's really cool. I think it's a he. I don't know for sure, but it's from Japan. Always sends me origami with it so that's just kind of a cute little extra and then these are what i ordered i ordered uh this ferrari mondial uh it's in black you probably can't see it really good through this packaging but we are going to take of course a close look at, at you know when i flip the camera around so this one and then sent me uh and then this is the other one i purchased another lambo so that is awesome another kyosho lamborghini this is the 25th anniversary kuntash so, come on, who doesn't like that? That is sweet. So, yeah, you guys know I'm not, like, super JDM guy. I actually probably, if you if I really boil it down, like, I like anything that's cool, but I'm really kind of a European sports car guy or, you know, exotic car guy. Kind of. I don't know. I like a lot of different stuff. Um, and then he sent me this. Thank you for your purchase. This is a gift. He puts that note on there and threw me an extra that is awesome it's a 308 gtb uh and it, it i almost dropped it it also is a kyosho um so this seller i like almost don't even want to say who he is because i really don't want competition with buying his stuff but uh just a great little ebay seller all these are you like i don't know if they were part of his collection or what and he's just selling it because they're all i mean this was a model kit originally so none of these are in new sealed boxes they're they're being sold um you know as lightly used so or whatever displayed they're not played with obviously they're kyosho um but yeah threw me this ferrari so that is really cool so we're going to take a look at that too so all in all we got about we got five excuse me five kyoshos to look at we got atomic limited vintage awesome super an rlc piece uh an m2 and uh quick little hot wheels five pack so let's uh flip the camera around and get some Really nice, close, detailed looks at uh, some of this pretty awesome stuff. Stay tuned. All right, so here we go. I'm going to be a nice guy here. We're going to start with Hot Wheels. Uh, 
Uh, so we're going to open up this five pack and then those two really nice pieces, the Super and the RLC uh, piece. Let's just get this five pack out of the way first. If I can get it open, I probably should have opened it before the start of the video. But you guys love hearing packages ripping. I know I do when I watch videos. That's why I don't understand why people fast forward through it sometimes. It's a satisfying sound. At least I think so. All right, so <clears throat> starting out the first one, and the real reason why I wanted it was this Jaguar. Um, this XJ220. I do collect this casting, and I think I actually have quite a few of them. Uh, but obviously, this is the latest version of it. This casting has definitely been around for a while. Um, there's a couple different variations, or two different variations in the tooling. There's one with an open opening back here, and then there's one where it's shut. Um, <clears throat> I don't think, I think the opening one's only been used, like, way in the early days of it. But, uh, yeah. So, a Jaguar XJ220. Cool uh, supercar. And uh, nice to have it. It's metal flake green. Of course, these are all going to be plastic uh, bases and plastic wheels and tires, because they're basically, you know, a mainline five-pack. Uh, the McLaren, this is a cool, really cool car in real life, and uh, a really cool car in die-cast form, looks pretty good. We got some tampos on there for the headlights, which are nice, nothing on the back, uh, but uh, I think that's that's pretty cool, huh? What do you think? I like it. I like that one a lot. So those two are, are probably the best two in the pack. Well, there's a Lamborghini coming up that's pretty nice too. This Aston Martin, okay. Aston Martin's really not my cup of tea. To me, the cars, and you know, forgive me if you guys are fans of them. Uh, to me, Aston Martins look kind of plain Jane as far as supercars go. Um, you know, looks like a like a Ford Fusion. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm just not a huge fan of them. But it looks okay. It's got class. It's very basic. It's not flashy and all that stuff. But, uh, but yeah, so here it is in blue. Color is okay on that one, I guess. Um, and then this one right here is Lamborghini Sesto Elemento in this satin gold color, which I don't know. I mean, it looks okay. It's cool to get a gold Lamborghini, I guess. Really, I think in real life, this car was only made in two colors. I think there was like a gray one, like a charcoal gray one, and I think in white, maybe. I don't think there was any other car, the, the real vehicle. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not a Lamborghini aficionado. I'm just a big fan of the styling and the look of their cars. And I think this one looks pretty good with the headlights and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I dig it. I think it's good. It's got decent detail on it. And then lastly, in the five pack, you got this thing. Uh, I like this casting a lot. I do not like this color scheme of it. Um, this It's orange and blue, which is okay. And then you got the yellow in there. It just looks, I don't know. The cool factor for me just isn't there with this one. I like this casting. I really do like the casting. I really don't like the, what they've done with the color on it. I don't like not having anything on the front end of this really kind of doesn't do the casting justice it's fine to go without the rear detail on this one but without the front i mean and i know probably a lot of the versions of this that have come out don't have any front detail but it is a cool it's a really cool tooling it's just a shame that this i don't know this color is ugly to me all right that's my opinion sticking with it all right so there's that let's go ahead and open this chevy chevelle the 70 chevy chevelle summit racing super oh i didn't grab out the regular car usually i grab out the regular car i like to show them both together but i, I didn't get it so you're not going to get to see it in this video but this was this came out in 2014. um this was g case i think 2014. so it actually came out really before i started really going hard collecting um, but just a really cool super to have. It's Spectre Flame pur Purple. It's got red line tires. I think it's really cool. So it's cool that they did a super in this casting. I absolutely love this casting. So awesome to have it. Awesome to have it now loose so it can join the wall of supers that stay in the collection. 
pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. What do you guys think about that one? All right, so sticking with purple cars and really nice ones, let's take a look. Maybe I'll back off here a little bit so we can take a look at the actual card. Card art is super cool. That's what makes me debate on the one I'm keeping here, keeping it in the package, because, man, that card art is really cool. Um, here's the back of the card, in case you want to read that. You can pause it and take a look. It's got genuine sponsorship uh, deco, and it's number 3193 of 11,500. So that's how many of those were made. Now, do you think they actually 11,500 people ordered the exact amount? Probably not. So I don't know what they do with like, the extra ones. Maybe they give them to the team. Not really sure. So, well, it's open now. Um, let's pull it out. Again, with these, I like, wish I had some sort of glove or something with the Spectre Flame paint. I just don't want to put fingerprints all over it. Because um, they definitely show up on these. And yeah, this thing is beautiful. Got detail all around, of course, full deco. It's gotta have the full treatment. Motors detail, look at that. The color is just amazing. Owner, Larry Wood, that's pretty cool. Uh, Brian Vitusky is the driver, that's cool. Uh, Gasanova, Redline Racing, El Segundo, California. Really cool piece. Can't believe we had to wait a year for it, but that's okay. And it came as a surprise in the mail, too, because they never sent me any tracking for this box. It just showed up, actually, today, Saturday, and, uh... I'm like, all right, that's awesome. I knew what it was right away when I saw it was from Hot Wheels. I'm like, it's got to be these because it's the only thing that would come right now. So now we just got to wait a year for the uh, Custom 240Z, which is the next selections piece, and that one's going to be probably really awesome as well. But look at this thing. I love this casting. I'm really into these gasser castings, um, and not. I don't think the, the Chevy Bel Air is a really cool one, but... I don't think it's the coolest one. I really like the, the Mercury, the Cyclone, and I really like this Nova. I think they just are really, really cool castings. And I'm excited that they're going to do a drag strip, drag strip Demons line in car culture. I think that's going to be an awesome one. So I'm psyched about that. I think that's going to be really cool. So, yeah, another quick flip this one around. And this one's going straight into a Carney case and will be on display looking beautiful. So, love it. All right. Very, very cool to finally get those. All right, so next up, let's take a look at this M2. Uh, you guys have seen these before, right? It's tooling. I just did a video on a model kit for one of the Z cars. Ah, man, you know, it is, it's not bad. It's, it's decent. You got some taillight issues the license plates all wonky um of course i'm gonna rip on m2 a little bit just because I'm not a huge fan of the brand um got a little paint flaw here on the side as well where the paint bubbled um but hey it was a gift thank you heavy metal 164 for sending this one along um, it, I mean, it, it does look pretty nice. It, it does. Um, I do, I'm, I'm with them on, I don't really like that the rims are blacked out on these all the time. Um, they should do some chrome ones. And he did one of these, he chrome, did, took the chrome pen to, I think he used a chrome pen or a silver sharpie or something, and made the rims chrome, and it does look a lot better like that. But, yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's okay. The engine, I mean, the motor detail, I think, definitely leaves something to be desired. Let me get it open again. Um, I don't know. To me, it just looks strange. I don't know what those little divots in there are, or if that's what the motor is supposed to look like. I, I'm not really sure. So, the mirrors are kind of cool, but obviously those are going to be broken off if anybody, you know, is not super careful with it. But that's all right. It's going to join my very, very, very limited M2 collection. So there is that. 
And then speaking of limited, let's take a quick look at this Datsun 200SX. Man, I still need to get another thing to hold my, my phone so it doesn't shake. So I apologize about this uh, slight movement in the camera. Um, but this thing is cool. Packaging, excessive. But there is the packaging in all its glory. When you open it up, it comes with the car down there like that. And then the box for the car up there. Um, let's go ahead and open it. Not all Tamika Limited Vintage comes like this in a box like this, by the way. And I'm not sure why. So it's a Tamika Limited Vintage Neo. Quick look around the box. Down some 200 SX. Uh, Tommy Tech. Hatchback in blue. Um, cool. That's cool. And then kind of like similar to Auto World. And I don't think all of them come with, with these either, but this will fit in the box i believe it should anyway and would hold the casting still inside the box i think it fits in there i'm not going to reopen it to try it but so and then here is the very beautiful little casting all right so let me just get this box out of the way <clears throat> and let's zoom into the car Yeah, I really got to get something else for this camera, guys. I apologize about that. Let's take a look at this. All right, so it is completely well done. I would say, and I've looked it over pretty much in detail, and it, it is flawless. You got lens detail all around for headlights and taillights. Um, it's got a very detailed interior. The glass is very clear. Um, I mean, it's even got, like, gray cloth looking seats and then a black dash um, another thing cool about uh, Tamika limited vintage is that they have suspension and like a really soft suspension which is just kind of a cool touch I mean it's not like it's super necessary um, these are it is metal yeah these are metal based they're all metal construction it's got a lot of weight to it That grease right there is literally from my nose because I just touched it to my nose to feel if it was cold. Um, so yeah, to confirm it's metal. But yeah, so scale 164, limited vintage Neo. So these are true to scale, 164 scale vehicles. Um, the hood does not open, doesn't have any opening features, which is completely okay with me. Um, really, opening hoods are kind of cool, but I mean, I don't really need them to call it an awesome detailed die cast. Just needs to look great like this and then not having an opening hood you don't have to worry about any of the issues that come with opening hoods which means does it going to shut right um are you going to chip paint when you shut it uh, there's all sorts of things that bad things that can happen with opening hoods and this just eliminates it all together there's no opening doors either of course which some of the the tamika premium stuff does have opening doors but they still do the opening doors thing actually quite well um but man this piece is just really cool it's not really it doesn't appear to be like fragile or anything um i don't know what do you guys think what do you think you offered this to me in trade i just couldn't say no because it, it's a, a i don't have hardly any of these in my collection i have one other one it's a skyline and it's it's really cool but uh it's the only one i got so now this is the second piece uh, in my collection. I would love to have more, uh, to be blatantly honest. They don't do a lot of car, like, toolings that I'm super into, because I don't, I'm not really into a lot of the obscure Japanese car stuff, so the stuff that I'm, you know, whatever, a lot of the stuff that they make, but, um, they do some buses that would be really cool, but they're, like, super exorbitantly expensive, um, but, man, really cool cool piece but i would love to get some porsche um castings from tamika limited vintage that'd be cool but those are all really expensive if you don't pre-order them right away in general this is an expensive brand to collect but i mean it's got it's got everything you would need in a 164 scale die cast car and it's just beautifully done and it's flawless and it just it's like a little little gem you know 
So I think it's awesome. All right. So there is that. Enough gloating about that. That is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the other stuff from Travis really quick. Or not too quick. I am so stoked to have this. I really am. Uh, Lamborghini Diablo. Come on. It's another poster car. Childhood poster car. I mean, look at how cool it is. I'm glad that it's the version without a wing. Because they did make this car with a wing or without. And it looks I think it looks cooler without the wing. Um, and you've got your standard Kyosho tastiness with um, a nice sculpted interior that looks great. The uh, uh, windows are very clear. Um, you got lens detail where appropriate, tail lights. Um, of course, not in the front because this thing still, I think, did have, yeah, have top up headlights. I mean, wow, that is cool. I do have another Diablo. I'm going to grab it real quick. Uh, this is a CM's die cast. It's not the same version of a Diablo, it's a Diablo SV. So it's, it's an actually a newer um, car in general, um, but it's got the pop up headlights. So I just wanted to show you that. The headlights don't go down or anything they're in a fixed upward position but i just thought that was such a cool touch i had to have this thing and then uh of course it's got the lens detail too so cm's diecast is another kind of oddball uh, diecast company you don't really see too much of um they're not as prevalent they're i think easy to come by they do a lot of rally car stuff so you don't really see a lot of you know cars like this but super cool to have that and super cool to have this. This pair of Diablos is just, just awesome. I mean, come on. What do you think? What do you think about that? All right, so a couple Diablos. And then sticking with Lambo. This is the other car he sent. Uh, this is the Lamborghini Murcielago RGT. Uh, this one's in white. It was available in red and black as well, according to this card. There's that. Um, not overall, not a super exciting Lamborghini, but I am definitely glad to have it. Um, it is pretty cool. Again, you got your lens detail, your, your Kyosho details that you come to expect to be just awesome, and it's got them. Um, lens detail in the rear, very very fine um, detail. It says Lamborghini right there. Uh, cool wheels and tires they're rubber um, slicks on this one and I mean just a clean looking car the wing is a separate piece I think I can't tell if that's no yeah it's definitely a separate piece but it is metal at least I think it's metal maybe it's not metal well, I think the wing is plastic, but whatever. It, it it's it's just awesome. So these look great. Looks awesome. Really cool car. Really cool Kyosho. All right, so there's that. And then one more Lamborghini, and then we'll do look at the two Ferraris. So this was an eBay purchase. This is the Lamborghini Countach 25th anniversary. It was available in black, white, and red. Um, I think. I wouldn't mind having all three, to be honest with you. White and black would look awesome in this car. Would love to have it. The red is really cool, too. Um, but again, you get lens detail in the front, lens detail in the rear. Not my favorite Countach by far, um, this 25th anniversary model. I do not think is the coolest looking of the Countach uh, body styles. But still cool enough where I definitely had to have it. And, uh, you know, I love collecting Kyosho Lambos. I mean, they're just they're done so well. Um, and I love them. So check that out. Kyosho also, they're not the best rollers always. But, I mean, honestly, who cares? It's great that it rolls, but, I mean... You're not sending it down a track. This is a scale model to look at and, uh, you know, capture the imagination of automotive goodness. So there it is. That is that is a sweet little piece right there. And then um, next up we got 
this Ferrari. Mondial. Not the most exciting Ferrari, admittedly, but very well done. I collect Kyosho Ferraris. I wouldn't mind any Ferrari model Kyosho. I, if it exists, I want it. Um, and this one is really nice looking in black. This was available, uh, I think, yeah, red, silver, or black. These, of course, come as a model kit. That's how they get away with the 164 scale Ferrari. So these are screwed together um, instead of riveted. And just, I mean, it's a beautiful car. It really is. The wheels and tires are great. Um, this one's got tread. Um, I mean, it just looks awesome. I mean, can you can you say it otherwise? I don't think so. Uh, so I really like that. And then lastly, we got this one, which is the 308 GTB. Uh, this was available in red, yellow, or silver. Uh, this, again, was also sent as a model kit. Now, this one is constructed a bit differently than your average Kyosho. Uh, the model kit's a little different. As you notice the pieces here, you actually put the hubcap into the wheel, okay? And you put the dash into the interior. Uh, now, on one of these, you put the tires onto the wheel and the axle. And what are you, are you asking me, what difference does that make? Well, it makes a big difference. This thing is definitely different as far as Kyosha goes with the wheels and tires. And it actually, because of that, it's a pretty good roller. Um, so what they've done here is this is like a Johnny Lightning tire. If you've ever uh, taken apart a Johnny Lightning or taken a wheel off, there are actually three pieces. There's a rubber tire um, that is put on, and actually, you know what? It's rubber all the way around the back, like that back side right there. That is all rubber on the back side. Let me see if I can point to it with this. That's rubber. All rubber. So actually, yeah, you put the hubcaps in. So sorry, they're not exactly like a Johnny Lightning tire. I mean, but they're on the axles. So the axles will be like Hot Wheel axles. And then the hubcap covers up the, uh, the center end of the axle. Now, the wheels on this one don't, I don't think, look great for this car. I think they look too, like, fat, I guess. Um, the space between the, you know, the, where the hubcap is, I think the hubcaps are just too small. I think if they were bigger and it looked like a little bit more of a lower profile tire, I think it would uh, look a lot better. Uh, but this is still pretty cool, still definitely a cool one to get. Um, and I think it's definitely an older Kyosho. I don't know if there's a copyright date on this thing, and even if there was, I don't know if I'd be able to read it anyway, because it's in Japanese, but someone who can read that, Cozy, do you still watch my channel? If you do, when did these come out? Or maybe somebody else knows when they came out, but um, pretty neat though. You can definitely tell though the difference between this one, like quality wise, and the newer, newer Kyosho. Uh, the newer stuff I think is much better. So they go with a fixed axle design, so the wheels don't move independently of another one another. Um, I think that just allows for a better kind of like rim design. And then uh, this one's the older way with the wheels move completely independent of each other. Um, but yeah, so totally different uh, ways of constructing the vehicle. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode, guys. So again, we, we looked at a lot of cool stuff. Let's just put this in front of the camera one more time. That is sweet. That is really sweet, too. <sighs> yeah, man. This is a good week. This is a really good week. Not a ton of cars, right? But, man, a lot of really nice, high-quality stuff that I really love. All right, so that's it, guys. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching another long one. And uh, enjoy your week. We'll see you in the next one.